Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. And today we'll be looking at the dangers of clicking onto URL links without knowing specifically what those links could do to our computer systems. So over here, we are on Mutiloday 2, and Mutiloday is a vulnerable web application system in which we can learn how to perform our hacking techniques, our injection on. And in this case, on the left side, we have Open Web Application Security Project 2013. And I can go ahead and click onto OWSP2013. All right. And once I click on it, I can click under unvalidated redirects and forwards and click under credits. So this would bring us into the credits.php site. And a couple of things that I want to highlight here, okay, is to go ahead and use the magnifier so that it is easier for you to see. So as you can see here, we have a number of links. So we have the OWSP, we have ISSA, and so on. So what I can do is right click and inspect element. So we can look exactly at what is being utilized to actually redirect us to specific sites. So in this case, over here, we can do a right click inspect element and we can look at the AHREF. So this is a link that is provided. So once you clicked on it, it will lead us to the following site or the link. And in this case, we have index.php page equal redirect and log.php and forward URL. So what I can do is to go ahead and copy the following. So I can copy the following and I can paste it over here. Okay, so I can paste it over here. So with the magnifier now, you can see that we are on the IP address followed by slash mutiladay slash index.php question mark page equal redirect and log.php and forward URL. So if I go ahead and hit enter on this, this would bring us into the OWSP.org website. Okay, so immediately we can see that there is a performance of a redirection. And if I was to go back into the into the credits.php, what we can notice is that there is a danger of this since the hackers or the scammers could easily change the URL. Say they change the URL to loyliangyang.com or of course for the scammers or hackers to redirect the user into like your hackers page which could possibly collect their personal data or ask them to download some files or attachments and those could lead to a cyber attack and once i hit enter on this it will redirect us into the site so what is the issue here what is the danger here is that what the hackers could do is to could easily launch phishing campaigns, cyber attack campaigns in which they would send out emails and they would send out SMSs disguising themselves as from say the bank, from the social media platforms, from the website. And once they send those links to the user, it could look highly believable because the first section of the URL would be the domain name of the website. And in those cases, users could just be validating the domain names rather than the full path of, right, of the URL in which they will be entering into. So the chances of users looking and validating the question mark page equal and the redirection and the forward URL is very slim. So this increases the probability of users clicking onto the links. And once they click onto the links, that could lead to a compromise of their personal data their user accounts, or even a complete takeover of their entire computer systems. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try my best to answer any of your questions. And we'll like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.